Officials in Hamilton are warning that a deadly drug may be circulating throughout the city. Police and public health put out a warning after a large amount of illicit pills were seized by Hamilton police. They were being passed off to drug buyers as a prescription opioid, OxyContin. Eric Vienno joins us in studio live with more on this. Good evening, Eric. Hi, Matt. Police say in March they took over 2,000 of those pills off the streets. After testing from Health Canada, the pills were found to contain an opioid that is highly dangerous and significantly more potent than fentanyl. Individuals may think they're using one drug, but there is a risk, in fact, that it is something different. After Health Canada tested the fake OxyContin pills, they were found to contain benzimidazole also known as nitazine. It's very potent. Uh, we know it is certainly uh, stronger than fentanyl, and so there's greater dangers associated with that. And again, the dangers are really increased risks of, of harms or overdose when using the drug. In the event of an overdose on nitazine, Hamilton Public Health says just one round of naloxone, which can reverse an overdose from opioids, may not be enough. It may be that two or three uh, kits essentially of naloxone need to be administered before someone would respond. Hamilton police tell CHCH News the over 2,000 pills were located in Stony Creek after two search warrants. A large amount of cocaine was also located. Two people have been arrested and are now facing charges. Police say the pills are stamped with the letters TEC and look like OxyContin. Now this all comes as City Hall has boosted support for harm reduction efforts in the city. Yesterday, council backed $667,000 in funding for agencies on the front lines of the opioid crisis. There was pushback from some councillors, but the YWCA says it welcomes this funding for its safer use program. We've been open for just about two years. We've seen uh, close to 8,000 visits. We never do know what might be in substances. And so starting low, going slow, you know, using your support system, using safer use spaces like ours um, or uh, urban core is really critical to ensuring that we have the type of responses that are needed to keep people alive. Last year, Hamilton Paramedic Services responded to 964 suspected opioid overdoses. That's the highest annual total recorded in Hamilton.